and we're back. Um, it's uh, it's Christian, man. Um, yep. Yep. I don't have my eyes with me, so I'm just gonna have to throw in the sound. But uh, but y'all get it? I wave the water in front of the mic. Christian. What? Yes, sir. Who who are you? We'll start there. Who are you? Who am I? Who, who are All you? All right. Uh. I'm Christian Jones. I am from Houston. Mm. I'm a football player here. And I've really been playing soccer my whole life. So I just now started picking up football sophomore year of high school. And right. now I'm getting comfortable with it. I do remember you played soccer. That was crazy. I would see that with your story and I was like, son. Yeah. Yet, yet another common thing we have. Um, how do we meet, man? Well, we met. <laughs> we met. It, we met in the restroom, man. We, we met did. in the restroom in Moody. The Moody yep. restroom. And, yep. And then we uh had Professor Jones freshman year. We did. That was you, cool. You remember what I asked you when we first met? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You don't remember. You're playing. You don't remember what we talked about? I'm, I'm a... Nah, bro. I don't. I nah, don't. I'm, I'm going to have to. All right. Here it is. We're going to lead it in. So uh, I was, I myself was going to go D1. I don't know if you remember. Wait, this. wait. Hold on. Hold on. Chris, Chris, Chris. I remember. I remember. I remember. You remember. You was asking how, you was asking how, like when, when are the, when are the trials for the team, right? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're smiling now. You've been smiling then. What were you thinking, man, when I asked you that? I was like, what position is he going to play? That You did ask me that. You did? Yeah. And then, uh, was, you have any, did, did you tell anybody else that some five foot two kid was going to walk on? Yeah, like, I told, I told the, uh, the dude from the high school relations. I was like, look, we got someone who's trying to try out. Yeah. Someone to try out. And he's like, yeah. well, you know, blah, 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 blah. I forgot what he said, honestly. Oh, okay. But I, I did. I did inform the, the staff about that. Look at that. Yeah, man. Let me – Uh, I feel like I haven't told you what happened after that. Nah, I, I never knew. Let me let me fill you in, man. Um, I talk about this when I do stand-up a lot, actually. This is hilarious to me. So, I was so set on, uh, yeah. on walking on, bro. I was like, oh, no, this is – there's not even a chance I won't. Maybe not, like, play or start, but I could walk on. So, yeah. um, I was trying to – what I was trying to do was actually find, like, where y'all practiced at. I was like, all right, because I didn't know anything coming in, like, to college. So, I was, like, trying to figure out where y'all practiced at. And y'all weren't at the stadium. And I was like, all right, I got to find a football player. We got to do this. <laughs> then, bro, saw you. I was like, all right, bet. Ask you when they were, when were the tryouts. You told me I actually practice like somewhere like off site because like you can't like watch them. It's like a college thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It was uh it's like it's, you know where C Lot is? No. But it's by uh, that soccer thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like by Manor Garage ish, yeah. By the soccer yeah. stadium. So that's crazy. Um you sent me you sent me the list in the spring. You sent me not the list, but the flyer in the spring. Sent yeah. to me, and I was like, "All right, bet." So I came to the to the meeting. I came to the meeting, and for uh for like two hours, bro, they were just talking about like the medical stuff. They're like, "We gotta know everything wrong with you, cause when you get hurt, we gotta know how to treat you." And I was like, "When you get hurt, I don't, <laughs> I don't plan on getting hurt." Hold on. <laughs> um, at the end, it, they ended up having practices in the morning, and that's when all my classes were. And I was like, "Oh." Uh... What an L. Christian told them. They looked up my schedule. They scheduled accordingly. What an L. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's as far as that went. Um, let's transition to you, man. Uh, let's, start, let's start at the very beginning, specifically like football and college. Did they find you or did you find them? Uh, they found me, man. They okay. found me. Created me senior year of high school. And I, I was like, I was sold on it, man. I was close to home. I could see my sister, my family, you know, before COVID and all that stuff. 
when yeah. life was normal. Heard and that. And I was just, I was just, I was just happy. I was so happy to be in Austin, and I want to live in Austin too. So that's why I came over here. Okay, that's dope. Did you? Okay, how'd they find you? Just is your high school just like known, oh. and they always there, or like, like huddle thing? Uh, yeah, huddle recruiting. Uh, I don't even know, man. The recruiters just found me. They'll look under rocks for talent, bro. Okay, and did you? They give you like a, like a tour of the school, like the whole deal, or like? Yeah, yeah. Went on a visit. Okay. I think it was February fifth, and signing day was February seventh. I signed oh, so wow. late. Yeah. But I was just, I was ready, man. Okay. Did you was yeah. UT always the school, or did you have like others that you were like? Uh, I had other schools that I was like really feeling. Uh, Cal Berkeley, I really like Cal. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to see what Stanford was talking about, but like just the distance really is what kind of um, made me stay in the state of Texas, you know, because like it's like sixteen thousand dollars to see four games for flight, hotel, rent a car, all that stuff. Oh wow! Instead of instead of like half a tank of gas in the hotel room. Facts. For a, a game in Austin. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Okay. So uh you get here. What's what's the first day like? Uh first practice, day of workouts. Yeah, when do y'all when do y'all practice? How how early before school? Like six AM? No, no, before like, like oh, month, oh, month. oh. Oh. I came here May twenty seventh and I came back to go graduate. I think I was like May or like June first or something, and we was already working out by then, like the second wow. day, pretty much so late May. Okay. I would say. And what are the workouts like? Um, my first day ever seeing a UT workout, man. Um, <laughs> we didn't work out. We were just getting our like student ID and whatnot, and they took us to Kirby Lane, and it was all cool. Oh, yeah. And then we go in and it's a two o'clock run in like the beginning of summer for the uh, people who are already here. Okay. You know, it's hot. It's like a hundred some degrees out. Yeah. And literally I walk and I just see like one of this receiver just run and just start throwing up uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> and then the straight coach is like, yep, that's what workouts are going to be like. This honeymoon phase is about to be over tomorrow. <laughs> And he was not lying, man. First couple workouts, it was so hard. So hard. And it was just, it was me trying to, you know, be a competitor, trying to beat the older guys and Absolutely. trying my hardest to just, you know, make an impact and, like, let people know that I'm not just, like, a slap, you know? Oh, like, yeah. I, I got, sure. yeah, so. What's that, the, what's the schedule the like? First, for the workout? Uh, 6 a.m. What the nah, heck? Nah, man. We get, you get there at like 5.30. Oh, 5.30. That's like okay. pushing it. Yeah, 5.30, change, get ready, have a little warm-up, uh, do the workout. That's like an hour and a half, hour, 40. It depends. And then uh, you go get breakfast. I mean, you go shower, you get breakfast. You got class at 9. So I'm usually ending right at like, 8 30 and i don't leave till like 8 55 and i get to class at like 902 yeah every day yeah and then okay but do they have you do yeah. like weights and like running or like is it like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay is yeah it... yeah hey funny story funny story man it was my senior year oh. of high school mm -hmm. and i was talking to uh some of the guys on the team already and we were just chilling and uh i was like so what do y'all do? He's like, man, we run and lift. I was like, what you mean you run and lift? Like every day we run and lift. I was like, what do you mean? Like y'all run and lift on the same day? And they're like, yeah, like, what do you mean? And I, they just started laughing at me, but I was being so, so serious. Like, I was like, what? Can I do that? Can my body handle that? So, yeah, they were not, they were not lying on that. Heard that? That's crazy, dude. Okay. 
<laughs> they have that. Um. Okay, let's uh let's talk about let's talk about your major, man. What uh mm-hmm. what are you majoring in? I'm doing a uh, sport management major and a minor in entrepreneurship. And like what I plan on doing with that is just be in the sports world and be like, make sure everything is running smoothly and as best as possible for the athlete to provide, to like perform at his highest, you know, hopefully like marketing, maybe Um, the new name image and likeness is coming out soon. So Hopefully, like, giving back to the people who I went to school with, you know, like, I'm only going to get a little bit of the name, image, and likeness, if any, but some of the younger guys, like, I can help them out and make sure that they, like, just get as best deals as possible and just see their body of work pay off in other ways as well, you know, because, like, the NFL, that's not that's not for sure, but in college, like, we generate a lot of money as well, so... Why not just try and get some for yourself in, in the right ways, in the right ways. There we go. Heard that. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to uh, to first UT game. Uh, first UT game. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I want to say it was Tulsa. Okay. Was this a home or a what? It was home. I think it was Tulsa. Yep, Tulsa, and uh, I think we barely won that game too, man. I think it was like 28-21 or something. But I just remember my first game. I knew I wasn't playing. I knew I wasn't playing, so I was just chilling. No responsibility at all. I was just waving the towel. Easy. And I just remember running out with all the smoke. I was like, where am I? Where am I? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, oh. And just like the ah. pack, like it's, it's yeah, pack, man. I think my favorite game though was the USC game, oh, like okay. a couple weeks after. Yeah, the USC game was crazy. Yeah, y'all uh, won that one too, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, okay, man. That and uh, they were playing. Don't stop. Like, don't stop believing, and yeah. everyone had their flashlights out. It was just, it was crazy. <laughs> okay, crazy game. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the first one you started in, or not even started in, just played in. How different is college and high school? What what were you, uh, like, what were you like? Yeah, it's about right. First one that I played in. It was way different, man. We played UTEP, and this was this past year. Okay. And I just remember, like, knowing what I had to do, but it was just so weird being on the field with people. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, (gasps) like, I was just trying to, like, calm myself down. I I get, sometimes I get really, like, jittery, you know, in uh, in situations where – that's where like the maturity aspect plays in. Cause you know, like, you know what you're doing and you, and you believe it, but like, you got to know that, you know, that, you know, like there's no doubt in your mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. So first game, it was, uh, it, it was all right. I played well, I played decent. Uh, we won, we blew them out. But I just remember like after the game, I was like, I need to gain weight. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm light. Out here. I'm getting pushed around. Okay. And so ever since that, for like a month straight, I would be eating Whataburger patty melts like for dinner every night. I heard that. <laughs> just to put on weight. Okay. Yeah. Talk, to, talk to me about like uh, the older guys. What, uh, do you have any uh, specific mentors? What, what would they do? Um, I would say my mentor. Uh, Charles Aminihu, Malcolm Roach, Taquan Graham, Colin Johnson, Zach Shackerford, Andrew Beck, JP Urquidez, um, Sam Ellinger, Devin Duvernay for sure. Um, really, like all the older guys, I was very lucky to. Um, 
I was very lucky to be in an environment where it was just friendly and open and you know what I mean? Like yeah. there is no classism between it. Like if I asked, I remember asking Colin and Devin, like, hey man, like why don't you go out? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And he would just tell me, like, hey, like when you go out, you just set yourself back, you know, like you could just like maintain a level of fitness and how I need to have a routine. Colin was very, very big on routines with me. Like he just told me his routine that he did every single day, no matter what, no matter how he felt. You wake up this time, do this at that time, get here at a certain time, drink this, eat that. Very disciplined, very professional way of going about it. And I feel like that's what everyone had, all my mentors had. They had a, a way to um to lead, you know, some verbally, some physically, and just like mentally, you know. I'm like there'd be days where I I'd be like, man, I don't know. And I just look at the leaders and I just be like, all right, if he not, if he doing this longer than I have been and my body's hurting, I can't imagine how he's feeling, but he's still doing it, not complaining, being a professional, like, you know, putting the team first. And so I'm, I'm very lucky to have him. And then I hope they all doing good, man. I hope that whatever they want to do, will happen whatever they intend to think upon or create or just be a part of like I just hope it all comes together great for them because of the impact they made with me you know that's dope okay all yeah. right say so hey okay um let's talk about okay y'all are like the coaches are like very like disciplined with you right like, yeah, just, like, as a yeah. unit. Like, when I went into, like, that, uh, oh, the meeting, I had my hood on. And as soon as mm -hmm. I walked in, they were, like, hood is off. off. Yep. Exactly. And I was, like, all right. What? Okay. What do they? I don't really know what I want to ask here. But, like, let's talk about, I guess, when you're not training, what are, mm -hmm. are y'all doing with the coaches? How, how do they? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it depends what type of coach that you have, you know. Um, I feel like some have a better, like, player relation with others. But <clears throat> I'm never the guy to, like, go and, like, spend my free time hanging out with my coach. Just nothing against them, but, like, I just really value my free time. I'd rather just be in my bed or something. But basically, bro, anytime we're in a facility, we're doing something to get better. Like, there's rarely any time – that you were in the facility that your coach and you just had free time, you know? Yeah. But like, you know, outside of football, like my old old line coach, we used to go over to his house and swim and eat barbecue. He, he threw down, man. He threw down. He's a great guy. I love him. And uh, we've always had a great time. We're going to the movies, hanging out. We used to have O-line meals a lot. And I know that was a fat check because we all big and could eat hella. But Facts. Heard that. Well. All right, man. Yeah. Let's uh let's go back to the uh the sports management stuff. So you mm -hmm. you're like a you're like a junior this year, right? Yeah. Okay. Did they have you do internships or anything? Uh, I got an internship this summer, I think. If not this summer, then in the fall, whatever it has more time. Honestly, like, cause you know the fall we have practice every day, but it might actually work out better compared to my summer schedule. I'm trying to work with Austin FC though, man. I really love – oh, man, I'm so happy we got Austin FC. Let's talk about it. And uh, I had I had the season tickets, right? Okay. And then I texted my friends. I was like, yo, like, I'm going to get, like, two season tickets. Like, what's up? Like, who want to, like, you know, yep. go in with me on it? Exactly. And nobody went in on me with it. They're like, oh, dude, oh, Austin FC, dude, this is MLS soccer, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, like – I had it, and then I just I just got rid of my season tickets, man. And I wish I never did that. Now it's all sold out. Yo, I'm gonna have the nose, nosebleed seats, man. Like I could have been in a nice spot. I could have been in a nice spot. You didn't want to go by yourself at all, huh? You didn't want to go by yourself at all. I mean, like you go to a game, like well, who am I? Like at least one person. You know what I mean? Oh, like, you can't bring it in. Like, that is very true. I should have kept them, man. I really should have. Uh, okay. But you live and learn, man. 
That's true. You okay? So you played soccer growing up? Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's talk about it. What position? My whole you life, I played everywhere, man. I played striker, midfield, center back, left back, center mid, all of that, man. Okay, got you, man. I just uh, played goalie one one game. How was that? It was cool, bro. I saved the PK. Did you really, cool. son? Dude, I yeah. remember in high school, I tried to switch to goalie, and I would practice. Yeah. Okay, so I did this. Okay, I would, like, put on Snapchat, like, oh, freaking road to doing this day one. We're working on dives or whatever. And then I had my first game, bro. They put up, like, six goals on me, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. I know he was mad. I know he was mad, bro. Son, I was like, no way they're actually doing all this. <laughs> Son, did you play for a club team? <laughs> yeah, I did. I played for Texans. Okay, what's what's the club team like? It's cool, man. I liked it a lot. I did like it. The practices were far, though. Yeah. Did y'all Very have like far. A, do club teams have like playoffs and then like a I don't know, like a champion kind of? They had like yeah, yeah, tournaments, all of that, man. Okay. Very, very legit. I liked it a lot. That's what's up. Um. Also, okay, you said okay. So you said you want to intern at uh, Austin FC. What do you? We want to do this. Like, uh, like coach or what? Nah, man. I just want to learn. I want to learn from them. You know, like yeah. A new team in a vibrant city with hella fans already, and we haven't even played a game yet. You know. Yep. How are they going to handle it? What are they going to do? What's their market strategy? Mm. That's what I want to so you're like on the marketing side. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be a coach, man. I can't. I don't, I don't have it in me. How are that? You want to market it? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, okay. So have you, have you taken like those classes? Like, do you kind of know like how to market like sports like that? I know how to market myself, you know? I've been taking classes and stuff, but, um, uh, Really, like, I've been learning, like, the, the framework to it, but at the end of the day, like, how can I put this? Like, there's book smart and street smart. And to be, like, a, a person where I'm, I'm trying to be, like, sometimes it's not, like, who you know. I mean, what you know, it's, like, who yeah. you know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I got say you. with the name, image, and likeness stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I know all my stuff, right? And they know me a person like they know me from workouts and they know me from just kicking it with me 24 7 like that's also another added thing another like component that most people don't have you know yeah heard yeah. that bro when do you when do you platform when do i platform yeah for the internships uh i think i should have already applied for two i don't know i don't know i'm not really up on Honestly, this semester of school, I'm just really focusing on learning the playbook. So I'm like, I'm doing school, but I'm not doing like no internship of applications right now or none of that. But I should be. Heard that. All right, let's talk about the uh, the dream job, man. What's the dream job? I don't know that. I don't know the dream job. I want to live in a comfortable house in a comfortable neighborhood with the cars that I want to drive and the clothes that I want to wear and the food that I want to eat every day, you know? Heard that. I want to be, I want to be loaded, bro. But I, yeah. I don't, I'm really, I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking and talking to my roommate, like, you know, people have big dreams and all that shit, and like big plans and new creations, but like, just imagine the dude who made paper clips. Like his friend was like, bro, that's so, <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Like, why do I need a paper clip, bro? And Paper clips, like you know, staplers, like I, I need to figure out the next everyday thing, and okay. it's really the phone. The phone is that next everyday thing. Technology is what's yeah. gonna be the future. So I got to figure out how or what people would need to make their life easier. So I guess that would be one way of living my dream. Football, yeah. maybe you know, but. I really want to create something. I want to put my name behind something, but I haven't found it yet. Something physical? Something physical in the cloud. 
<laughs> I don't know. Something, Perfect. Man. All right. You know? What uh, Jared asked me on this on a podcast we did. I always like give credit to him because it's not my question, but it's his, and I like it. So I asked everybody else. Uh, what do you want to say you did in the uh, next six months? In the next six months, I want to say that I've proved myself to be one of the best people in the country football-wise, that I'm a reliable lineman, I'm a responsible person, I'm a great guy, great boyfriend, future great father, you know, I, like not not in the six months. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, no, I see you. My bad, my bad. In the, the next, father, in the next father, I got you. Six months, <laughs> I want to say in the next six months, bro, I want people to know my name and know that I'm a dog. You know, I want people to know that, like, that dude, Christian Jones, he's a stud. He's a he's a baller. That That's what I want. That's what I want this next six months to be. OK, what would you do to get to get that? Lift weights, run hard, eat good. Yeah, I'll go out, you know, role model life. I see. <laughs> yeah, bro, just be a upstanding citizen. Heard that, bro. So, well, making this podcast with me, step one. I appreciate yeah. that, man. This was dope. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about, man, that we haven't touched on? Uh, nah, not really. I think we covered all the bases, right? But uh, yeah, no, we we covered it. Uh, this uh, is this is great, man. Um, yeah. I always have my guests end it, man. How uh, how do you want to end the podcast, man? All right. I want to end it by giving you a shout out, bro, for following your dreams and just staying true to yourself no matter what. You know, a lot of people lose their way okay. in life, in, in college. You know what I mean? Like yeah. People lose, people have hella ideas and, you know, one may not work out, then it gets sad and don't even try again. Like, bro, there's opportunities and stuff right in front of all of our faces. And I give kudos for you for grabbing that shit, for real. Son, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Christian, everybody. Um, I think I think that's it. I think all you gotta do is just yeah. say it's Christian and they get it. This <laughs> this is dope, right, man. Uh, next time I have you on the pod, man, it's gonna be in person. We're gonna we're gonna right, have bet, some, sure. some some deep stuff to talk about. So, all right, bet. bet I'm dig cool deep with that. because I'm gonna I'm gonna dig deep with you, and together we're gonna go really deep. All right, for sure, brother. <laughs> right. Hey. That was Christian, man. Um, appreciate you, man. We'll fade that up. All right, bet.